As a law minister, the ministry has to give justice to the nation. I am saying this, there are certain reasons for saying this. Today, members of parliament and the house as such require to be given justice because day and day out, our powers are being snatched away. We are without our realizing day and day out, our powers have been reduced. No today, today, it no is it is the judiciary which exercises the powers of legislature. No Question is this: the, yes, the role of judiciary. The duty मैं तो बीजे बैठा हूँ। आगे ये लीजिए। कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर एसकम, प्लीज। कैबिनेट जी एसकम। सर, द ड्यूटी ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट और एनी लेजिस्लेटर वी सपोज्ड टू इंटरप्रेट इस टू क्लारिफाई द एम्बिगुटीज एक्जिस्टिंग इन लॉ, नॉट क्रिएट न्यू लेजिस्लेशंस। इफ एनी वर्ड इज़ देयर व्हिच इज़ एम्बिगुस they can clarify and that becomes a law. Today, the courts are enacting legislation in the form of interpretation. This is going on for last many years and therefore the law ministry has to constitute a committee which are such judgments whereby laws have been created. I am saying more serious thing than this. Today, directions are given to government in the matter, matter of constitutional interpretation, forget. I said this in the house and I remember about a year back. A day will come when courts will give instructions not to admit a call attention, not to admit a particular question and not to admit a particular discussion. The day will come. And today, if you see the uh, yesterday's decision of Bombay High Court, in the matter of Shobha Day, the Privilege Committee of Maharashtra Legislative Assembly has been restrained from proceeding with the privilege proceedings. Can you imagine this? Whether the notice given by the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly was correct or not is a different issue. But whether the High Court can give any instructions or directions to the Privilege Committee not to proceed with any privilege proceedings. So this is only the first step, I think, and the day will come when we'll get instructions not to admit a particular question or etc. I am not going into the merits or deep merits of Shobade's case. I am on the point of procedure. Secondly, one of the important aspect is this: they are enacting legislation. I said, who who enacted who laid down the principle of basic structure of the constitution? Did Baba Sahib ever dream or did Baba Sahib ever said that basic structure of the constitution exists and these are the parameters of basic structure? He never said. Never you see in the constitution anything called basic structure. At Supreme Court laid down a concept called basic structure and today we cannot touch that aspect. If we tomorrow for any public interest, if we want to amend a particular law and if Supreme Court finds that this amendment touches the basic structure of the constitution, you cannot do it. And therefore, such hurdles are being created by interpretation. Secondly, sir, if national interest is fulfilled, laws of the country have to be simplified. Because if you simplify the law, common man will understand today's law structure, whoever, everybody is to be blamed. Today's legal structure and legal procedure, common man does not understand. And therefore, unless you 
सिंप्लीफाई दी इस लॉ प्राइम मिनिस्टर टेक्स प्लेजर इन सेइंग मुझे खुशी होती है जब मैं कोई लेजिस्लेशन खत्म करता हूँ और मैंने बहुत सारी लेजिस्लेशन खत्म की क्या खत्म की सम एब्सुलेट लॉस हैव बीन टेकन आउट ऑफ सेटिस बुक्स एंड दैट हैज़ टू बी डन उसको लेजिस्लेशन खत्म करना बोलना आई टेक प्लेजर इसे इन खत्म इन नॉट इन क्रिएटिंग लॉस इज इज नॉट करेक्ट प्रोसेशन secondly he said in the beginning itself of his term prime minister said my government will believe only in single tier no two tier no three tier procedure single tier where you have done in single tier have you amended the uh, rules of business of government of india wherein you reduce the tiers have you enacted a committee uh, established a committee for the purpose same rules are going but in reality it may be true that just like in gujarat there was one tire system one person was deciding same thing they may be following but without without any amendment to the uh, rules of business then sir supreme court has time again in said we are interfering in the executive because executive is not doing the work executive is not doing the duty therefore we have to they say they don't have power they, they don't say it in very good terms that they have powers they say that since executive is not doing the job we are doing the job can the prime minister in the same breath say which our prime minister i am not saying the prime minister of india can he say that because the supreme court is not functioning there are lakhs of cases pending in supreme court therefore i will pass the judgment can the prime minister of india say so so substance is this that executive cannot interfere in the affairs of judiciary judiciary cannot interfere in the affairs of judiciary secondly passing of judgment is different thing but of the cuff remarks that are made from the bench by judges is something which is not acceptable they say once what was parliament doing was parliament sleeping these were the type of remarks i will come to one local issue sir goa does not have a high court there are 24 state 28 state 24 have got states other four have been tagged with something or other even delhi has got a high court now high court having a high court is in, incorporated in the constitution you cannot tag two two states for the purpose of establishing common high court there is not mentioned anywhere so it is a right of every citizen to have an independent high court and therefore secondly sir we had a high court in goa for many years and that goa high court had jurisdiction over other territories like macau you can imagine my cow the territory had a jurisdiction and therefore today bench was bench was sir sir please i was supposed to initiate actually my thing is there are two more now i am i am the ex chairman of the standing committee and he is a present uh, i am aware so, of it uh, so there kindly are two, two more kindly sir kindly kindly but he is the original adjust to the time secondly goa deserves an independent high court we have got excellent judges we have shown from time to time and even our judges are in supreme court of portugal they are going to do good work there so in my own village i am from a small village i come from small village in that village three high court judges are born two one is working two have retired out of three two were chief justices of high court one of bombay and one alabal high court out of three judges two were chief justices then in the same village there are two members of parliament one is myself and other members so imagine one village produced three uh, judges of high court including two justices then one last point i am saying uh, see yesterday there was some discussion article 324 is there in the constitution which is being largely misused by the election commission as far as this paper seamen from kerala and goa is concerned 
they were deprived of their rights lakhs of voters of kerala and goa and other places were deprived of the right by whom by the election commission saying that they are not residing in their houses seamen were working on the board ship and others were in the gulf countries so temporarily when you are out on a job depriving them of their voting rights and today you want to have proxy voting e voting this voting when they they had not given up their rights when the law did not say that they will not have so election commission took their right and today as a result i am telling you a figure sir when 3 lakh voters of goa are outside only 27 have been registered as voters this is because of the election commissions this is because of the elections commission attitude of depriving the genuine voters and now if you have done this then subsequently while ravi ji was the minister he had to bring amendment to restore our rights and they put the condition that you have to register in a particular manner Thank in you. that because of that one minute because of that ultimately out of 3 lakh only 27 from goa and other places also similar thing is there so therefore i appeal to the law minister first to restore the rights of parliamentarians yes. and about the parliament yes. before giving any justice to others thank you thank you very much